Hey guys, so it is Tuesday, June 13th. I am back with another vlog. Thank you guys so much for all of the support and kind words on my first vlog. If you haven't seen it, I'll have it linked down below. Um, and it's, I don't know, was it last week that I posted that or maybe two weeks ago? And I've been getting so many comments of like, when is your next vlog coming? So here it is, this is what we're doing today. Um, Currently, this is my situation, just sharing my office chair with my 60 pound Vishla because she thinks that she's very tiny and we somehow fit on this chair together. But today's video is going to be the organization vlog. So in the first video, I did um, some subscriber mail unboxing and my friend Mickey had sent me a really big box full of stuff to organize my office and I'm really excited about it. And then I got a few more things from um, a store that sells their products on Amazon. They sent me some more organization stuff as well. So we're gonna start to organize. I really have no idea how it's gonna go. I haven't planned anything out or started or anything because I thought it would be fun to do it all on camera, which might be crazy. So I don't know how much we'll be able to get done today, but we're at least gonna start and start working on it. Um, I'm also going live today on YouTube for the first time at four o'clock, which is in like four hours. So, and I have to put makeup on at some point before I do that. So we have a busy day. Then I have to go to my sand volleyball league tonight, but I thought I just need to get it started. My office is just so crazy, so overwhelming. My makeup collection grew so fast, so quickly after starting a YouTube channel and I just definitely need some help. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got sent from the other Amazon store as well and then we're gonna get started. Okay, so just real quick, hopefully Aries will stay in that chair. This is from, I think the brand's name is Song, Song Minx, Song Minx, I'm not sure how to pronounce it 100%, but I'll have it listed down below and then all of the links down there as well. They did send me this, which was really nice. They're not like sponsoring a vlog or anything, but I, um, they must have saw on social media that I was trying to organize and they sent me all these wonderful makeup organizers. I was so overwhelmed and thankful, but we have this little two drawer guy here that pulls out. They're all like acrylic containers as well. And then we have like this little shelf here and this top part comes out and then this part comes out as well so you can have um, it stacked if you want to. A lot of these items are also like can be stacked like they come in a set but you can take them out but you can take them apart and you can stack them if you want. And then this is a really cool lipstick acrylic organizer that I'm excited about. And then we have like this set right here, which I'm super stoked about. It has like the pull-out drawers here. We have like more lipsticks or, you know, maybe even like my stick foundations. Um, another little pull-out drawer here. So again, you can take them off. You can stack them however you would like. So I'm excited about that one. This one is like a really big, big daddy. Um, it has a ton of different drawers. I don't know if I will leave it all stacked up like this or if I will kind of take it apart. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, just a ton of different drawers here, which I'm super excited about. And then they sent one last thing, which is this guy. So more drawers on here as well. So between that and then that big old box is what Mickey sent me that I unboxed in the last vlog. I'm just gonna go through everything and see where I can put it. I know between all of this, I mean, like right now I think I have too much stuff probably, like maybe I don't need to utilize everything, but I'm not sure until I actually like get started. But I know some of the items I think would work well for like our bedroom and even our bathroom. So not everything might be in my office, but the majority of it will be in here. So, Let's just go ahead and get started. I don't know where to begin. I'm not very good at organizing decor, interior design. It's just like not my strong suit. Um, I have a really hard time like visualizing that kind of stuff in my head, but I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a try because my office is just like in a constant state of disarray and it's really been really bothering me lately. So let's get started. What I wanna work on first, so this is my desk and this little like cubby up here has almost all of my eyeshadow palettes. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it in the light, but what I want to do is take all these out, grab a holder that Mickey sent me last week, and then just try to organize it. I think I want to keep my palettes up here, I think, but in like an actual, you know, organized type of way. <laughs> Mickey sent this 
And this is what I really want to do to like stack the palettes. I got to figure out how to do it in a way where I can actually make sure I can see them because like how I have them stacked how I did, I just couldn't even like see all the palettes. I like didn't know which ones I had in there and like I would always want the one at the very bottom and it was very stressful. So let's see what we can do. So I got all of my palettes laid out. Here is what we are working with. So I'm going to see how many I can fit in to this guy. Hopefully this fits in that section of my desk. I haven't tried it yet, but uh, that's okay. So one thing that I noticed is that these are pretty deep. Like that's a Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette and like look how far it goes. So I'm thinking maybe for the back row to do like taller palettes. So like my chocolate bonbon palette, um, the clay play palette, the new one from Tarte. That one's pretty tall. What else is a tall palette that I could use? I don't know if my Carly one would fit. Oh yeah, that kind of fits. Okay, so that's the original um, Carly Bible and BH palette. So that one fits there. And then on to the second row. Let's see, do I still want to do tall again? Like, um, my Styled by Harouche and Tarte palette. That's kind of taller. These ColourPop um, single shades in a palette. Okay, um, what else, what else? The Anastasia and Master by Mario palette. That's gonna be it for this row. There's a few palettes in here that I don't want to go in there because I want to separate out um, palettes that are newer to me that I haven't used yet. So the Kathleen Lights and Morphe palette haven't used yet. The Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Eyeshadow palette. Um, Graveyard Girl and Swamp Queen. I've only tried this once. Uh, Chris Anna Ann Cosmetics and the Olympus palette. I just got that. Was there anything else that I just got? Okay, so I think that's all like my newer ones that I still want to try. So I kind of want to leave that in their own little separate pile. So let's move on to this little row here. Um, let's think here. So these, I really, really actually enjoyed these Morphe palettes, the 25A and B. So maybe I could put these in there. Okay, and then I think that's, well, I could stack them and then maybe do something here. Like, oh, I don't know what I could stack in there. Maybe the Tartlet. Okay, so this is the Tartlet in Bloom palette from Tarte. So we can stack that there. And then for the final row, I have these Pure Vanity palettes, which I absolutely freaking adore. I'm thinking maybe I could do, or I could do, yeah. So let's stack them. <laughs> okay, but then from Tarte, like these ones are circles too. So this one is a Tardis contour palette. So it has like contour, bronzers, blush, and highlights. And then this is the Make Believe in Yourself. So maybe if I did like that. Okay, what do you guys think of that? Does that look okay? I'm just, I don't want it to be like too crunched and like too overwhelming because I want to be able to readily see what's in here and be able to grab it easily. You know, I don't want to be like fumbling around trying to grab stuff. So I think that'll be okay. Let's see if it fits in the spot on my desk. <laughs> okay, so that does fit in there pretty well. I'm thinking we have some room on the side here. Like maybe I could do... I don't know, something there. But this fits in really well here, and I think that looks really pretty. I wish there was like better light so you could see it better, but I like how that looks. That's way more organized than having everything on top of each other. So, okay, step one. So fun fact, I completely forgot about a whole lot of other eyeshadow palettes that were in my spinners on my desk behind me, because I'm awesome. 
this is why I, I don't organize. Desk here I have these spinners and I had eyeshadow palettes in each of these. So that's cool that I forgot that. So what I decided to do was like put some of my favorite palettes in here so they're like really easily accessible. So I put the Tarte Clay Plate in there because I've been having such a good time with it. This is the Smashbox Photo Matte Eyes Palette. I talk about it all the time. The Modern Renaissance from Anastasia. The Shade and Light Palette from Kat Von D. And then in the other one, I put the Tarte and Harouche Palette, which I absolutely love. Also the Tarlet and Bloom. And then my ColourPop Single Shadows, which I really love. So that's currently what is in the spinners. So in here now from Too Faced, I have the Sweet Peach Palette and then the Chocolate Bonbon Palette. And then I put in the Naked Smoky from Urban Decay and also the original Carly Bible and BH Palette. Then we have, um, this is the light in shade what is that what it is light light whatever shade the knockoff from makeup revolution of the kat von d shade and light palette the anastasia master by mario palette um we have one of my deco scarlet palettes and then the Lorac pro brunch palette my two morphe 25 a and b palettes then i have these little z palettes that i stuck in here this has my makeup geek single shadows and then also my anastasia beverly hills single shadows so those are going to go in that slot and then I kept the front the same my two pure palettes and my two circle tart palettes so <sighs> how did I forget about those like this this is why I don't do this so what I have left palette wise looks a little something like this I grabbed this out because I was thinking of putting palettes in there too but I'm not sure where I'm actually gonna put it. So this is what we have left of the palettes. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on my desk <laughs> and then move on to the next step. I am a hot mess already. So this is going just as I expected. What do you think, Bada Darius? Ah, thank you so much for your help. So I got this back in place and then I decided to put my three Morphe palettes just over here to the side if you can see it. I just feel like they fit really well and I have no idea where else to put, you know, these big stonkin' huge palettes. I have the 35T, the 35O, and the 35R so I'm just going to stack them there to the side. And then the spinners have me pretty happy. I'll try to leave everything listed down below as well including the spinners so you can get them on Amazon. So some of my favorite eyeshadow palettes are in here for easy access. So that makes me very happy. So one of the things like I was really unsure about is like A, I want to get everything in like their own place, like their own organization, their own drawer, you know, that sort of thing. But I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to actually be putting everything. Like I had the idea to put that eyeshadow um, palette in that like little cubby hole on my desk because that's where I was putting my eyeshadow palettes. But like with everything else, I'm not exactly sure where I want it to go in the end. So this is a big project. I mean, like I said, this definitely isn't gonna be like a one vlog thing um, because it just took that long for me to do like half of my eyeshadow palette collection. Like this is definitely going to be a long like organize my office series with me, but I'm just not sure where I want everything to go yet, like where its final place will be. So I'm trying not to stress too much about like the end result, the end factor, like I just want to start filling up all of these amazing organizers and then starting to figure out and you know like move things around and decide where I want them. So so there's that. I'm trying to remind myself of that because I'm feeling very stressed right now. This just isn't this isn't my thing. This isn't my strong suit. I just know that it needs to be done and I'll be happier in the end when it is done. So just just got to remember that. So palette wise what I have left I mean really it's these so this is an empty Z palette so that like really doesn't count this moment this is highlights these are all highlights so then we have this one and this one and then these are newer things that I still need to use so I want them to be in their own separate section so really I only have these four palettes like actual eyeshadow palettes left to figure out a home for so that's really not that bad so I had pulled this guy out and I thought Mickey had said in her note like this could hold palettes as well. So because I just have the four here, I'm just going to see if I, okay, 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 okay. And then, hey, that works. Okay, so 
you know, this might not be like the final thing, but for now I can store the extra palettes in here, which is good. I don't know what I can put in here. Maybe I can find something, um, but that is good. So they have a home, so they're nice and tidy. So now where should I put this guy? That is the question. Over here is my printer. Again, there's like no light over here. So this is just where I have my printer. It's stacked on top of some like acrylic drawers. I just have um, a little pink tweezerman bag in the back. And then this is my Kim Kardashian West lip set. Like usually you can just like very faintly see this in a video. But what if I just go ahead for the time being and just set that right there. Okay, so... For right now, that's where that's gonna go. It might not be its final resting place, but we'll just put those excess palettes right there. And then we'll just call it a day on the eyeshadow palettes because that was tough work. Okay, so my eyeshadow palettes seem to have a home right now. Again, I'm not sure if that's where they'll be in the end. And if you guys are watching this and if you see anything, like you see um, where something could go or you have an idea for something, please leave it in the comments because like I keep saying, like this isn't my strong suit, this isn't what I'm good at, and I'd appreciate your comments and feedback so much. Glad that I have that cleaned up because my eyeshadow palette was definitely stressing me out, and I, I really like where they are now. I'm just living for this big old palette, and I love how I have so many eyeshadow palettes in here, but I don't feel overwhelmed, and I feel like I can see all of them and you know I can just look at this and think okay is there anything that I want to use in here and I can just easily grab for it my morphe palettes right here and then this little guy right here and honestly like in here is some of my favorite palettes really so I didn't even mean to do that it's just like these are kind of more of an awkward shape but like the Lorac Pirates of the Caribbean I love that palette the Carly the new palette from BH oh my gosh I'm obsessed with I've always talked about like since I got the Violet Voss Holy Grail I've been completely obsessed with it and again the Purest Trolls palette like absolute one of my favorites so that's kind of fun that those four ended up together and then in the spinners as well with the Harouche palette the Tartlet and Bloom the Colourpop single shadows I absolutely love them they'll be really easily accessible as well and then some of my other favorite um, bigger palettes here too the Clay Play the Smashbox Photo Matte Eyes Modern Renaissance and Shade and Light so those are in the spinner as well so again easily accessible so hey that's pretty good. So I pulled out this little guy that Mickey sent me. I have another one and I have sheet masks in it. So I thought that's maybe what I would use this for, but I'm thinking that I could put my palettes, like my new palettes that I want to remember to try out. I could put in here. I also found this one on my desk. Um, this is from Soap and Glory. It's my first Soap and Glory eyeshadow palette. Um, my friend Christina sent that to me. So I'm going to stack these maybe so close nope okay let's try again let's try again let's see will these fit I don't know why I thought that would be different but I really did okay let's try this again mm, I cannot fit this gutter anywhere if I do it like that they fit and then this is like my newest newest one so maybe I could, oh, there, it fits like that. Never mind, I got it, I figured it out. Okay, so these are all my new eyeshadow palettes that I need to remember to try out. So I'm going to put them over here. I cleared out this little area on the second cubby hole. Oh, but will it fit? It won't even fit. Ugh. You guys, this is not fun for me. Okay, so take out the Soap and Glory palette. Let's just try to put them. Okay, so that works. I'll just like put the Sylvan Glory palette next to it. It's probably not like the cleanest look ever and I clearly need to dust, but I'm not gonna have you watch me dust on camera because I'm sure that'd be really boring. And then maybe I could put my highlight palettes in here. And I think I'm just gonna like stack these highlight glow kits right here until I move on to like that collection and what I should do with them. So I just have my Anastasia Glow Kit and then my Jaclyn Hill and Becca, which I love. So I'm just gonna leave those there for right now. Here are the eyeshadow palettes that I need to remember to try. And we're gonna call it. <laughs> hey guys, so I think that's all I'm gonna do for this vlog because I'm sure that's probably gonna be long enough. So this vlog will be organizing with me 
just my eyeshadow palette collection and a little bit of highlights but um honestly that was like super overwhelming for me like i got really frustrated several several times like i said this just isn't it's not what i'm good at and i don't know like it just doesn't come naturally to me like I, it's it's just not what I'm great at. So, you know, when you're not really, like, good at something, it's not necessarily fun to do. And I'm just really grateful for all of the organization that was sent to me. And I'm excited for, like, the end product. Like I said, I'm excited to see what my office will look like once I get everything organized. But it's just going to be a struggle to get there. So I'm trying to think what I should try to organize next week. I think I want to work on the desk behind me and figure out what I want to do with it. Like, do I want to keep those two spinners on there? Do I want to put um, some of the acrylic drawers on there? I'm not exactly sure, so I might try to come up with a good game plan before I start to film that. So I think maybe that's what I'll try to focus on in my next Organize With Me vlog. But let me know what you guys want to see or if there's something else for my makeup collection that you'd want to see me organize. Or again, if you have any tips or ideas for me they would be totally appreciate it i hope that you guys like this vlog um i'm not really sure how it's gonna go and i guess i'll just have to see once i start editing how we do but a lot of you guys said that you wanted me to vlog this organization process so that's uh what i'm doing i don't know if it'll be the most interesting or the most fun to watch but but we're giving it a try. So I will have another writing vlog coming soon. Like I said in the first vlog, I will have one where I talk more about my writing. I'll have a giveaway in that vlog, which I'm really excited about, and some fun uh, writing book news to share in that one too. So that one will be coming sometime, and then another organization vlog. So um, my hope is to do a vlog maybe once a week. I felt like this one came a little bit later because I was just like, trying to mentally prepare doing this organization because it's just not my cup of tea but um I'll try to do one once a week and maybe post it on like Friday or Saturday so you can have like a weekend vlog but yeah let me know your thoughts in the comments down below I hope you enjoyed it Aries had such a fun time organizing she just she was such a big help for me so that's great but I hope that you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and for requesting another vlog and I'll catch you guys in my next one Bye.